Uh, hi, I'm Katrin Taylor and I'm representing Bumahan GAA Club in the Strictly Dancing. Um, I'm Pat Power and I'm representing Stadley for the GAA Strictly Club Dancing. And I know Katrin, she's my neighbour and we've been dancing all the time and we had some good times and loads of good times Pat. Yes, and <laughs> we've met loads of lovely people uh, really nice people we've been to their houses training yes and we've got they've been really good to us haven't they that's true yes. yeah it's, it's been great it's fun. absolutely brilliant and like we've especially with the group dancing there there are people yeah that really took us on as we found it very difficult most times and yeah. <laughs> so we're we're doing our best and yeah, we're they've hoping all helped us. yes and like all our sponsors have been brilliant as yeah. well like and yeah we want to thank all our sponsors everyone who supported us yeah and, and put up with us so and we really need votes on the night definitely definitely <laughs> lots of them so lots if you can vote for us we'd appreciate it very much and so thank you very much if that's good enough we'd, we'd love it Pat Power and Katrin Taylor. It's amazing what you can meet at a bus stop these days, I can tell you. It's no wonder the rail strike has been called off next Tuesday. Who has the microphone first this time? Owen has it. Pat and Katrin, well done. I, I enjoyed that, it was, uh, it, it was elegant. Pat just came across pure gentleman uh, and a lovely lady by your side. Um, and it just came across very, very nice. He, he worked really well together, um, getting off the bus. And I hope there's no strikes um, from the bus, but I'm sure there won't be. Um, but it's well done on the night. I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. Now, they say that you can judge a man by the type of flowers he gives a woman. If you're in trouble and you go to Topaz on the way home and you bring it in, you're really in trouble. But we're just going to judge the flowers that Pat got. Ah, John, don't do that. Look, plastic flowers that he robbed from the graveyard on the way here. Yeah, well, I'm not as cruel as John is. I thought it was a lovely thing. Actually, Joe, you know, it was really great to see staging, and there was a lovely little story going on with that. There was thought behind it. I love the way you had the, the uh, papers printed. A lot of effort went into this routine, 
It was incredibly lovely. And um, there were moments, Pat, when you really just looked so gentle and lovely as you moved around the stage. And I love the story that it was all kind of, you know, Catherine was a little bit sad and then at the end the flowers and she brightened up. Great story. Well done. Lots of effort. Thank you. And you Thank can't you go wrong with Mr. Michael Bublé either. No, exactly. That was lovely. He carried off the song very well. There's some songs that are made for fun and dancing and all sorts of stuff. That was romantic. That was beautifully romantic. And that was really, really nice. There was a lovely energy coming from you. You were rolling back the years, Pat, 1972, on the field there in Strad Valley, the mid midfield, they were the, the, the foot movement. Spot on, it was brilliant, very, very good. Catherine, it was lovely the way he performed. There was a lot of drama there, there was a lot of romance. Excellent performance, well done. Now, judges, can we have your votes for Mr. Pat Power and Catherine Taylor? Let's see what the judges' opinions are. Seven, eight, and seven, giving a score of 22 votes for Pat and Catherine. If you want to see them dance again, we will need votes in the box later on. Ladies and gentlemen, act number six, Pat and Catherine. Mm -hmm.